The 14th annual Utah Beer Festival returns this weekend. Pete Saltus is the organizer of the event and David Miller is the Wasatch and Squatters Breweries. And you are um, one of the vendors that will be at the festival. Yep. Pete, I'm going to start with you. Right on. Your event has grown in the last 14 years. Can you yeah. even believe it? No, not in Utah. It's not been not been easy to throw a, a beer festival in, in this state, but we've made it work, and it, it helps having good people like David and Squatters, Wasatch, those folks. A lot, of the, a lot of the vendors that we have have been there for a long time, so we really couldn't do it without their support. Well, so. back 14 years ago, you started, what, with 10 vendors? Yep, 10 vendors, all locals, yeah, and then grown to... I think 60 beer tents this year, yeah. <laughs> okay, and so tell us a little bit more about the details. What can we expect there? Yeah, so basically we're down at the gateway again, back there after a one year hiatus, and then uh, we're right there on Rio Grande, so we'll have the fencing there, and you just walk in and start off with you know, 60 beer trucks, 15 other retail vendors, food trucks, live music, yard games. So we try to make it more than just beer. Try to bring a nice, fun, entertaining event for everybody, really. And yeah. it's Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. David, you have been from its inception a part of this event. Yeah. Tell us why you decide to be a part of it. Well, it's really important for us to be part of the local community. You know, we're a local company and. We're just trying to get our beer in the hands of as many people as possible, and the, the Beer Fest is a great way to do that. And so how many varieties of beers will you have? Uh, we will have seven there, I believe, a um, few of which are here now. We have last one down, uh, Salt Lime Cerveza, to name a couple. What's your most popular? Most popular by far is our Juicy IPA, um, number one IPA in Utah. Uh, it's a fan favorite and it's really clean, easy to drink, and yeah, we make a lot of it. <laughs> and so how will it work? So you buy a ticket and mm -hmm. then people can try. Will there be tasters or will they have to buy that's, from vendors? That, that's one of the, the things that we've had to navigate over the last few years is how to, how to get people to do it in a five ounce sample pour. Beer Fest outside of the state, it's usually one ticket gets you, you know, just a free pour. You can't do that in Utah, so we have to use done like a ticketing system before we use a passport system now so you have a punch pass and so instead of doing like a you know a two dollar transaction for a five ounce pour you just we just have a punch pass for people so it makes it super easy quick once you get your once you get in and uh just kind of sample from there so we try to make it as easy as possible that's not always the case but you know David, I bet you have repeat customers, you have loyal fans as well, but you also want this time to be a, a chance for people to sample right. your breweries. Yeah, like Pete said, it's you can't really sample in Utah, so this is really an opportunity for people to, if they don't want to buy a six-pack or a 12-pack, you know, come out, get a passport, and um, try what we have to offer. And like, again, seven offerings and Hopefully you try all of them. And what is your message to people at home knowing that you are a local company, you've started it from the ground up and you are just showcasing and thriving here in our state? Yeah, I mean, again, the community and being part of it's really important to us. Um, Squatters and Wasatch have been around since 88 and 89. So we've seen a lot. Um, we just want people to think about us whenever they're going to their local grocery store or even bar and trying to decide what to drink. Are there places that you're not even in though? You're in most restaurants. We first. are, yeah. There's still a lot of places for us to grow. Um, convenience stores is one. You know, we try to come out with offerings. Uh, that Juicy we offer in a 19.2 ounce can, single serve. So things like that. Um, it's, it's easy to, to get to in grocery stores, but convenience stores, we still got a lot of room to grow. Mm, okay, and Pete, when you talk about the landscape and the ecosystem yeah. of the beers here in Utah, it's pretty large and impressive. Oh yeah, and that's what's been kind of cool since the inception of the Beer Fest when we had just 10 local uh, breweries. Now we're up to 35 or something in Utah, but each one of them really has something unique to offer, which is really cool. Uh, even if it's just within their, their four walls, you know, there's a lot of different people that do different types of food, like, you know, 
wood fire pizza or pickleball or all that kind of stuff. The it makes it really fun. And the entertainment. Yeah. Pete, where do yeah. we get our tickets and all that information and make sure we are trying Wasatch and Squatters yep. Breweries? Tickets available at utahbeerfestival.com. And uh, obviously, if you just come to the gateway, we'll have tickets available at the door.